Hello. So we saw in the previous video the concept of facial addition or the fact that if you have sinusoids of the same frequency and you add them together, it doesn't matter how many you add, and this can be sinusoids with different amplitudes, different phases, you end up with a single, simple sinusoid of the same frequency. You just need to find the amplitude and the phase. And this is because summation is a linear operation. So sinusoids, given that they are the eigenfunctions of linear time invariant system, SAM is one of them, means that you have a sinusoid going through one of these linear systems, and time invariant that does not change over time, the output is going to be a sinusoid, so it preserves the shape, of the same frequency, does not change the frequency, the system is only going to affect the amplitude and phase. So let's go ahead and uh, do a simulation here in using... I'm using Octave, which is a open source a substitute of MATLAB for the same sinusoids that we saw analytically. So we have a 5 cosine of 2 pi 100t plus pi over 3, so the frequency there being 100 hertz. And then you have another one with an amplitude of 4, so different amplitudes different phases, so you can change the phase any way you want, you can change the amplitude, but they have the same frequency. I'm modeling here these continuous time sinusoids by having a sampling frequency that is much larger than the maximum frequency. The frequency of the sinusoids are 100 hertz, but in 50 times that. Uh, that's my sampling frequency, and so I'm going to add them. And what we're going to see is that when you do this, we're going to execute it, you basically get a simple sinusoid. And if you see, if you check the amplitude and the phase, you will realize that this is what we just calculated. Now that's different than adding sinusoids with different frequencies. This is this part of the code here. So if we do that and we look at figure two, so what you see here is that while in the case of adding sinusoids of the same frequency, as we did here in the first part, 100 hertz, 100 hertz, different amplitudes, different phases, we end up with a single sinusoid of the same frequency. If I change the frequency, we end up with something else. In fact, we are going to be able to reconstruct just about any signal, synthesize, by adding sinusoids, of different frequencies, different amplitudes and phases. And that's going to be the principle of Fourier analysis. Thank you.